I went to a particular country and the pastor that hosted us to come there when I say us, my, you know, electronics people and media people that went with me. And then when I was to preach, he said, please, this is not Nigeria. I said, yes, I know. He said, over here, if you say this, say this, say this, he said, I'll show you when we get to the church. you see the policemen security people that they sent there to listen to everything you say i said yes sir and so when we get there the very careful i said yes sir <laughs> yes sir it's just in the normal respect it doesn't mean i'm going to make him my lord and so we got there i was sitting by his side he said don't point but uh, those people look up that one, that one. Those are the security people they send to catch your word. After catching your word, they catch you. I said, yes. And so, when it came to my time, they announced. And then I stood up. Then, deliberately, I forgot what he said when I'm preaching. I only remember what God has said. And so, I preach and preach and preach, and I was free. His word would have bound me. And then I say, now you know Jesus is the Lord, he is the Savior. You want to give your life to the Lord, what are you? Raise up your hand, and one of those security people raised up his hand. He was saved. If the preacher is bound, his words are bound, and he will not effect anything. In, um, you know, Bagada, Lagos, maybe you've not heard of Bagada, but that's the place where when we come out on Thursday, no devil can stay around. 